Archie. All right, brother. We got some questions for you today. What is your favorite type of food? Mm. Mm. That's kind of easy. I mean, yeah. it depends on the mood, yeah? My favorite type of food. But, like, sure. I think, like, if I could have, like, a go-to meal, like, every night, I'd, I'd choose steak, bro. Like, it just it always hits, bro. You know, you get a bernet sauce. Yeah. Bene sauce yeah. or peppercorn sauce, any of that type of sauce, bro, and then you just and and how you get it, how you get it cooked. I mean, depends. If I'm having a home, I'm going medium, medium rare. But like, if I if I'm going to a top restaurant, I'm going medium rare or rare, bro. Honestly, like, but yeah, I think my yeah. I think my my favorite is probably medium rare, bro. That's probably like the, the go-to. Yeah. But um, if it's like a not, not we're not doing no well done. Nah, hell no. It's like it's like when people <laughs> have ketchup with steak, bro. Hell no. Come on. Yeah. Disgusting, bro. Disgusting. Yeah. Uh, when did you start playing Rocket League? Uh. Ooh. I think what was the season? I have no idea the season, but it was like um it was literally just as they changed the rank system. Like I played the game oh, okay. like yeah, just yeah. just before like yeah. just on the edge of them changing it and then when they changed it I was like fully like grinding. I think it. I think that's twenty sixteen. Yeah, I mean it probably like right near right near the start when it came out on Xbox. Can I play yeah. on Xbox? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah, I was similar actually. Um okay, does pineapple go on pizza? Um, I think it's fine, bro. Honestly, I, I think it's like uh, not bad. I when like agree. I wouldn't choose it, but like when I eat, I'm like sure. Like the the texture is quite yeah. nice. I quite like the texture, bro. So it's like yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Same, same. And the fruitiness it's a, is nice, it's bro. A, to be honest, I like the fruit, bro. Yeah, it's a good contrast. You kind of yeah. get that juicy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's nice. But here's my perspective: is like we put all kind of stuff on pizza. Why, like, why is pineapple a problem? Yeah, yeah. Um, how many hours do you have in Rocket League? Uh. I think now it's uh, cause I had like 500-ish on Xbox, like maybe to 500 or 1,000 on Xbox, and like I think I, I think yeah. I just, I'm just about to hit 7k on PC, so probably like 7.5k hours. Yeah. Something okay. like that. And what about top three movies of all time? In terms of rewatchability, um, okay. Like my number one favorite, Casino Royale, James Bond. Yeah. I watched that film so many times, bro. Um, and then like it's tough, like uh, so many good films, honestly. Yeah. Uh, like I used to love Star Wars. I used to love like all that Lord of the Rings type stuff. Mm. Um, but like one-off movies, like uh, there's too many. Inception, I really like. You can say you can say franchise if you yeah, want. Yeah, I like Inception a lot. Okay. Uh, the Dark Knight, Batman's really good. Uh, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I also like since I've been young, I've also like really like enjoyed uh, war films, like. World War Two, okay. World War One film, so uh, yeah. you know, like any any type of Hacksaw Ridge, uh, yeah. any any war films like go in my opinion. They're always like really good so, films. So you're pretty into movies then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what other games do you play besides Rocket League? Other games. I mean, I'm not really been like a much of a gamer since I went pro in Rocket League. Yeah. Um, I don't know why, but uh, like now it's mainly just Call of Duty, bro. And that's that's literally only because like Auction have a COD team. I actually never played COD oh, like yeah. before, and then as soon as I joined Auction, I started like playing COD because I watched the the COD team play. Oh, that's um, cool. That's actually like a fun game. Other than that, like, uh, like random, I'll play random games with my mates, like if they ask me. But I don't really play other games like by myself. Well, um, then what about before, or maybe I guess Rocket League? <laughs> but what is your favorite game ever? My favorite game ever. I mean, honestly, when I was like on Xbox, like. When Star Wars Battlefront came out, bro, I like I was the greatest of all time in that game. Like, on yeah, a, that, okay. uh, but Fortnite is probably like one of my favorites of all time as well. Like, I literally used to be able to sit on that all day. Um, other than like Rocket League, probably quite good as well, yeah. and CS:GO as well. Other than, like, mm, I don't okay. know. I'm not really being like a a massive gamer like when when I was younger or now. So kind of boring. What kind of um, what kind of music do you like? Music. Uh, I listen to anything from classical to like. R and B rap like but my yeah. favorite is probably like rap and R and B. It's probably my favorite too. Okay. What about um give us like five of your favorite artists? Favorite artists. I'd probably say Drake's one of my favorite. Okay. Um, in terms of just like being able to listen to like he has so many songs like always there's always yeah. a song you can listen to from Drake. Yeah, um, that's true. Um another one is probably I mean Michael Jackson's probably my favorite of all time. Okay. Like that was my like childhood like Others, let me think. Like now, who do I listen to, bro? I don't know, bro. I listen to literally everything. Let me look at my phone, bro. Let me look at some Spotify uh, on my phone. Yeah. Travis Scott, probably right now. 
Okay. By choice right now. Um, I think Kanye is really good. By the way, listen to his music. So I want to. Yeah. I want to say him, but yeah, I think I think, I think he's like the go or one of the goats. But I don't really. I don't really listen to him, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. When did you realize you could go pro in Rocket League, or or maybe like what was, you know, or how did you realize maybe what what was something that kind of shifted uh, your headspace from like playing casually to more of a competitive level? Well, like when I was like 13, I was like I started six months, and I went from yeah. like rank rank C to rank X in like six months. Jeez. So like, I kind of like got insane like quick, and then uh, yeah, yeah. And I got rank X, and then obviously back then, like in Europe, the, there was a council, and like they didn't want any players other than their friends in. So they, I was, I always got voted out and just got back in like every like. So I get voted out at the end of the month, and then one week later, I'd already yeah, back just in. Promo I back just, in. Yeah, cause I just destroy rank A. Uh, <laughs> and then eventually, like people started respecting me. I remember like Freaky used to always like back me in there and like say like why why are you kicking him out when he's like better than loads of people in there. Yeah. Um, and the funny thing is, like, I almost like eventually went on to team with uh, Freaky in my first ever team, but like uh, yeah. the team was me, Cassio, Flame instead of me, Flame, Freaky. So, um, yeah. Mm. But then I think um, I just knew I was really good when I was playing rank X and like yeah. playing with all like the pro yeah, players and stuff. And then and obviously like when I made Spring Series with Joris and Calix, then I kind of knew it was like gonna be right easy. And back then, I think like six man's held a lot more weight than in yeah, the yeah, like yeah. six man's was like popping, bro. Mainly because of Jesse, but. Like six months was like insane. Like all the the, the the players played it. Yeah. Uh, what about what? What is your favorite moment or achievement as a pro? Hmm. It could be a you know it could be just like a fun clip from a tournament or whatever something I mean, that you cherish from professional moment. play. Probably. Uh, well, like a career defining moment was making Spring Series. Yeah. Um, that first first big tournament. Yeah. And other than that, it's like probably like winning the two regionals and then also like when I uh, did really well at Sweden major in my first yeah. ever major, I think. Yeah, Sweden was sick, we, man. Y'all went crazy. Like we could have actually like won that. Like we lost 4-2 to yeah. BDS in the semis, but like I remember like game one, we should have won, like, but we just bowled it. Um, and then obviously like- And, and that yeah. was a tournament where like nobody was looking at you guys, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty That's weird. Exciting. We went 2-0 up in Swiss, and then we went 2-2, two -two, and then we 3-2, and then we right. <laughs> revenged uh, against Dean Tass in the, in the quarters. Yeah. Um, okay, what about, uh, I know you're a big designer brand uh, fan. What is your, what is a best designer <laughs> brand? Best brand? Probably Louis Vuitton, yeah. bro. That's probably the best one, but it's like, other than that, like, I, uh, what, what ones do I really like? Um, I like Prado a lot, to be honest, like the stuff they mm. do. I don't really have anything from Prada, I just think. Or they're, they're, they're like um, smart, like casual clothing looks really nice, so. Yeah. Uh, other than that, it's like, I don't really like Gucci, not much. Like okay. as a brand, I don't really like it too much. I think it's pretty decent, but. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I mean, Dior's nice. Okay. Uh, I mean, I like them all, bro. I mean, to be honest. Yeah. They're all kind of cold, so. But Louis, <laughs> Louis number one for me, bro. I think one. that's okay. obvious. I think everyone knows me as a fucking Louis Merchant, but it's uh, yeah. <laughs> that's number one. Uh, okay, what about your favorite brand or pair of shoes? Uh, Nike, bro. And you, obviously you don't have to have them, but like I go Nike. Any, any like Nike shoes are just the best. Any. Yeah. Sports shoes like you like like Jordans or. Now, honestly, like the only shoes I really wear is my Louis Louis shoes. Yeah, but like I I have so many like. Dunks like Jordans, but like I like yeah. I bought when I was like 16, but now I really don't wear. Um, but yeah, like I don't really. Look, yeah. I think that shoes are like decent. They're kind of like coming back into fashion, bro. But I remember like mm -hmm. before they were literally like no rate them, bro. But now fashion's like weird, like weird, like um, what's the word? It's trends keep coming back. Um, yeah. So it's yeah, yeah, confusing. it is. Like everyone that, used to like violate New Balance shoes, and now everyone's got a pair of New Balance shoes. So that's right. So it's weird you know, my me. my parents used to tell me stuff like that would happen, but I think, <coughs> I, I think the thing that's happening is like, used to it would take longer for things to swing back in, but I think the digital age has sped everything up. So these trends, you know, they may only be ten years old, but it feels like they're swinging right back. Yeah. All yeah. right. Um, sure. I want you to give me three bucket list activities, three things that you just love to do sometime in your life. Um, bucket list. There's so many things you could do, but uh, hmm. 
I mean, jumping out of a plane is like crazy. So. <laughs> Dude, I was about to but ask like, you about skydiving. But it's like, I would never do that. Yeah, like my stepdad's done it quite a few times. He says it's amazing, but it's like, bro, I swear down, I think I would have a heart attack if I did that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, okay, skydiving. That, that's all right. probably like insane. I mean, like another bucket list is like traveling, like to. to no, like, that's a good one. That's a great bucket list activity. Traveling around the world, like, it's like. Okay. Like probably like my the thing I want to do the most, but I mean I've already traveled yeah. quite a few places, but. I want to like go to so many more countries and like see the cultures and everything, um, like the five wonders of the world or whatever that is. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. And then, what's like a? What I mean is a bucket. I don't know. Like, there's like random shit. Right? And it could be anything. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't even have to be an activity. It could be, like, it could be start a family. You know, it could be whatever you want. Mm. To be fair, I I would want to do like a, like see the coral reef. Uh, okay. Type thing that'd be pretty cool as well. Yeah. But, yeah absolutely. Uh, yeah, so many things, bro. I want to do everything. <laughs> I mean, he wants to do time, it all. So you just uh, have fun with it. Yeah, I like that. Th that would be fun. I mean, traveling is awesome. And like you said, just like experiencing different cultures and stuff is so cool. Yeah. When I, like, um, you know, for Germany, that was my first time going to Europe and, and even traveling internationally. And what was so cool there is like, it's so close. Yeah. You know, my, my perspective in America, everything is so far away yeah. to get something different. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and like, I've been to New York and that is very different, but ultimately like it's still English. You know, we're still American. It's yep. still a lot of the same stuff. But, um, you know, Europe is, I mean, like, you travel two hours one direction, you might be in a whole different country with a yep. completely different language For and sure. stuff. So uh, I thought it was really cool. I would love to do more traveling in Europe. Yeah, Europe's really nice. Yeah. Um, okay, final question here. Plans after Rocket League. Have you thought that far in the future, or are you just going to ride when you get there? Yeah, I've always uh, thought about what I wanted to do. But, I mean, the, the main thing I wanted to do is, like, start my own business, like, Mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that, like, um, yeah. but, I mean, if there ever was like an opportunity to stay in Rocket League, like, I, I, sure. I might do it, but I'd rather do my own thing. Like, if, right. if I got offered to like, you know, um, be an analyst or something like this, like maybe I think about it. But, sure. Uh, like, if I if I like um, had an opportunity to also start my business at the same time and like had a really good idea, I would choose that over Rocket League. To be honest. Are there any like, um, I guess, business? You know areas or like topics or things that interest you that you think you could jump into as far as maybe starting your own business mm, i know you're like yeah like you said, i'm you're not into sure. fashion i'm not really sure but it's like i feel like all the interesting stuff never makes money bro so that's um, fair it is definitely difficult yeah so like honestly i, I don't really care if i if it's boring but if i make the good money then that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm happy about because then the, yeah, then the future the future's sorted bro so that's right all right well that's that archie thank you for taking some time man Enjoy the rest of your day. You too, bro. Thanks.